Hey guys, it's Janae. Welcome back to my channel. Um, thank you so much for coming by. So today I have um, an outgoing Happy Mail swap that I did with my friend Colleen. Um, I just figured I would show it. Normally I just kind of like buzz through these videos. I don't really show everything. I don't show, I don't even take good pictures you guys, but um, this is a swap that we had planned probably about a year ago. I absolutely love her. She's such a good friend, but let's hop right into this. So for starters, um, I made her this a uh, like hexagon um, box and the top is removable. And um, it's like a honeycomb box and I thought it went perfect with these like really 3D bumblebees that I made and when I originally had thought about creating this I thought that I had scaled it down <laughs> far enough to actually make it like a bead box but after I assembled it I realized that um, it would be way too heavy to fill this with beads and then to send it so instead I opted to put a whole bunch of flowers in there and then I did stitch everything um, and then on the back I did put some acetate that is printed this was a lot of fun to create and it was very simple to put together it was a cut file through silhouette design studio and then next um, I made this little record player for her if I would hold it the correct way. <laughs> it's a little record player. And then looking back, I really wish I would have actually popped up this little centerpiece right here so there was more dimension. But I really just love the very pastel look. It's very clean and simple. And it was a lot of fun to create. And it was super simple. And then on the inside, I just put some bows that I made with different kinds of like faux leather. A double knot bow. Um, I actually already packaged this, but you can kind of see it. It's like a mini, super small milk carton, like little caddy. And there's four little milk cartons that I put goodies in. And then next, I did follow a tutorial by um, BB Crafts. Is it BB's Craft? I think that's what it is, by Brittany. Um, and this is like a makeup pouch, kind of. And so I did make the front of this a shaker and I did stitch like down diagonally so that the sequins wouldn't all fall to the bottom. And then right here I used this like heart die right here and the flowers is a die that I just picked up by Sizzix. And then I just added a tassel to the side and I did stitch like everything, the handles included. Um, I used a Velcro closure and in her tutorial she actually had something on this flap but you guys this thing is so chunky that I, I cannot add anything else but in the little pockets right here the acetate pockets I added a sequin mix here and then like a rosette embellishment and then in this one I added some shaker ticker <laughs> shaker ticket embellishments I don't think I've been up long enough. Um, my kids are outside playing, so I thought this was the perfect opportunity to film this. But I have, I have not even had a full cup of coffee yet. <laughs> okay. And then next, um, I love creating embellishment boxes. So I did make this one for her. And it does open here on the side with Velcro. And then there's a whole bunch of goodies in there for her to use. I just love the way that this turned out. It's just so pink and pretty and dainty. Okay. And then I decided to make her a bead box and where the holes were for this like piece of ephemera, I put some eyelets in there and then added some beads. And then I used this really pretty embellishment from my friend shaker embellishment hold on one okay so um then just to open it up i just shared like an assortment of beads in various colors ones that i thought that she could use okay let's see 
And then in this package right here, um, this was actually made by my friend Wendy, but I'm reusing it because it's too pretty. And I just have some embellishments in there. All right, let's get to the other projects. So I did create one of these like trim dispensers and um, it sits like this. And I just love these little bumblebees that I created. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. And then I put some different trims in here and it says trim. I think it's super cute. It was so fun to make this one. And then I did make her a little dresser. I haven't filled the drawers yet. And then there's also a box back here. And then the next thing is, is I made this like little sun hat. My friend Anne had created one for me and I had just been dying to recreate one. And so I made her one. It's very simple. I did do some stitching on it. And then I added the bow actually came with the cut file. And then I just added a flower right there. And this is large. And then on the inside, I added some rosettes. My daughter just soaked my youngest. So I just added some rosettes that I created. There's this one. And then this one right here with the little chicken. And that's what is in there. Okay, so next I created this like coffee cup little tray and I will be gifting this to her. This is a die by KS Craft. And then I also made a little purse for her. And I put a little dangle here in this bow. And it actually has, this die actually has like straps that you can cut with paper, but I used this other material. And then on the inside, I made her some labels. I know she's doing a Halloween swap, so I made her some Halloween ones and then just everyday labels that say, you know, Made with Love by Colleen. I had a lot of fun working on this swap with her. I actually started it like last summer, <laughs> but then my life took a nosedive and I took like six months off from crafting, so. Okay, and then next I have this little box right here. It's kind of like sun faded. I had it sitting in my window, but on the inside, there's just a whole bunch of embellishments, tons and tons and tons of different embellishments. The majority of them I've already shared through Project Share, so I'm not gonna share them again. And then I will show you this. I actually have not finished it completely. Um, I just, all I have to do was put the vinyl on, but I made, this is a sign that she can put on her door. And I used um, my Cricut to cut out these really large rolled flowers. And then I sprayed it or like misted it with um, gold color shine. And this is what it looks like. But I was gonna put um, my happy place here. I just need to adhere it now that this is dry. Okay, and then I'm I'm gonna share this now even though I'm not 100% finished with it yet. I still have all the last minute bits and bobs to add and then just slight embellishing. But we agreed to do a like mini album, scrapbook album, that you know we could just plunk pictures onto and go on about our day so this is the one i made for her i absolutely love 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 how this came out you guys i ordered like white acrylic paint and pink from joann's like two weeks ago it still has not arrived i spray painted this thing because i got tired of waiting <laughs> so on the side i did put this like little a dangly bit that my friend wendy sent me i did put some faux leather here and then on the front um it's just very girly this is just totally me like if i was to make an album for myself this is what it would look like um just delicate trim oh i forgot that i was gonna add this and haven't glued it on yet like i said this is not a hundred percent finished i haven't added gems and things of that nature like word like sentiments and things like that but i love how this has turned out so far 
This is what it looks like when you hold it on the side. I did add some trims. And I was making this kind of like junk journal style since I know that this is, that's kind of like her thing. This embellishment was for my friend, but I figured she could add a photo here. And then this, there's just a whole bunch of little pockets right here. And there's even one up here that she can add photos to like the little tags or stick photos in, you know, journal on the tags. This one right here is just a torn piece. I did stitch all of this. Um, and then I added this little like heart envelope. So she could maybe stick ephemera, photos, whatever she wants in this little pocket right here. And then this one is just very plain. She can add a photo. Again, right here, I put a doily so she can put a photo right there. And then there's just a pocket here and I added some stitched pieces, a little frame, some tags. So this is the little pocket. And then here, this is just a tuck spot where again, she can add photos. I definitely need to finish adding gems and things of that nature. This is a little glassine bag where she can add whatever she like. I mean, she could add multiple photos. She could add ephemera from a trip or whatever she wants. This is just a little flap and she could, you know, do whatever she wants with it. This was actually on packaging from Wendy and I saved it and I actually used it here. There is um, a pocket up here and I did add some pretty lace right there. This is just an embellishment where she could add a photo. Again, another pocket. I love this trim. I've been waiting so long to use it. There's um, a tag in here. And then this page where add a photo. And then there's this page where this is like a little seed packet, but she could add whatever she wants in there. And that is my little album for her. I hope she likes it. I just think the cover is just so pretty. I need to glue this down. I'm one of those people that like continues to add. <laughs> I let it sit there and then I add to it after seeing it for a couple days. Okay, and then we have this. <laughs> and this is like a crate that I actually picked up um, from Michaels on clearance last year. I thought about painting it, I'm not quite sure yet, but I can't keep this completely in frame so I'm gonna set it off to the side. But it's basically just a big, crate that's full of embellishments and little projects so we'll start with this one um this is my very first like trinket dish i made it out of concrete and i did leave it very neutral gray and white with a little bit of gold so she could use it in her craft room or she could use it in her living room whatever she wanted to use it for or wherever she wanted to put it and then I want I wanna start using my cinch. This is the only project that I actually created that was not with Garden Party. But this is just kind of like a little memo book. This is with the simple stories, let's get crafty. And right here it just says crafty. I did some like paper tearing. And then there is a bag here and then some tags and stuff. And then here's, there's some like graft paper where she could, you know, draw something and then line paper. Just a simple little book where she can take notes or write down ideas, whatever, you know, she'd like to do with that. And then this is like a little pin cup that I created for her. I stitched all the panels. My kid is outside crying because my daughter is getting her wet. <laughs> um, I put a pin in there that I created, um, a sequin scoop, a little box, and then I'm gonna put some sequins in here and that can just sit on her desk. Okay, and then for the embellishments, you guys, there's, I'm sending a ton of embellishments. I mean, just a ton. So I guess there's two compartments here. I'll just take out each one. So this is like a little window tag and inside it has a sequin mix. 
This is a box, and inside there's little note cards that she can use, you know, to send to her friends. I'm gonna flip these upside down so I can get them back in the right order. This is a book embellishment. You can like fluff up the sides. And here, it's another one of those like little mini pizza boxes, but I don't remember what's in here, you guys. This is a memory dex card for her. Some strawberries. And then lastly, um, these are just a couple of embellishments. There's a swan. This one is slipped down. This is just like a really layered embellishment. And then a little ice cream. I'm going to stick this back in. I cannot leave anything on my desk that I don't want to get butchered because I have little hands <laughs> all over. I try not to leave anything out. All right. So then this is like the next <laughs> set of embellishments. I made these little like seed packet embellishments with some beads. This is a star embellishment. It's pretty chunky. This is just for her to decorate. It's just like a little award ribbon style. There are some little mini envelopes for her. This is just an embellishment. This is a 3D little um, teapot with a tea bag. You just can't see it. And then there's these embellishments. So those are some of the embellishments. Let me grab the rest of this stuff. <laughs> I think that's actually gonna do it as far as like embellishments and projects go. Um, I'm not gonna show the goodies I'm sending her um, because I do plan on doing like a pack with me, some Happy Mail, in which case you'll see it. I'm hoping I can lift my camera up big time so that we can pack this together. But yeah, this is my um, outgoing swap to my super good friend, Colleen. Um, I really hope she likes everything. I had so much fun creating it for her. Um, anyways, you guys, thank you so, so, so much for watching. And I hope you guys have a great day. Bye.